And there to the skater, probably representing Kuwait, Sama Jurak. She's been part of the ISU's development camps. And now we'll skate to Feeling Good by Michael Bublé. Birds fly high. You know how I Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Breeze drifted on by, you know how I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. Sama Jurak completes her free skate and of course as we make the comparisons with the early performances in this women's competition we see some increased difficulty with double flip and double loops attempts from Sama. Still technical difficulties and still challenges but the wonderful thing to acknowledge for Sama is that she's not just here proudly representing Kuwait which I know is so gratefully appreciated by our federation, mm. I've seen it online, but also to know that she's being supported by the International Skating Union with the likes of the regional development camps and so we can say as we look at this double flip about the need to draw back a little bit more and to push the, the feet like position down in the air but 
the ISU is offering camps and opportunities for Sama and some of her countrymates to amass that information alongside the coaching job that she has from Yulia Martyosheva. Yeah, and once the information from a coaching perspective you know, it sort of emigrates, if you will, to these developing countries and ranks in those countries, and they start that learn to skate program and, and create a culture within an ice arena and a fascination for the sport, which will happen, uh, we'll just see continued uh, improvement in technique as coaches move around the world, perhaps, and, and, and coach in those different countries. So there's much more to come. It'll take a number of years. There's no question of that. It doesn't happen overnight. But these skate that come here to represent the, the countries in developing nations, ice skating nations, it's so important for the visibility and for the encouragement of mm. young skaters back at home. And that wonderful to see coach and skater smiling, waving and acknowledging the moment. And what I loved Ted, is just having seen, I mentioned it in the short program as well for Sama, just knowing the activity on social media for the figure skating Kuwait and knowing that there's a push behind the scenes as well this isn't just one individual and one coach and no. one skater this is as you've said before it's, it's a community mm -hmm. and we we're getting to enjoy sama's commitment to being the um spear front the uh, yeah. shut window of that at the moment and we know that there's an initiative by the isu to have some people support the development of skating in the middle east uh, which is happening and with seminars and special projects and we thank all the people involved in that uh, and to me i'm just i'm so interested that to see how other cultures who have never been really exposed to this embrace it and sometimes when you haven't seen it and then you look at it, you go wow wh what is that and how does that work and you know we've had fans follow the junior mm -hmm. grand prix for a number of years that never skated don't have a rink in their country but they found it online and they loved it and they began to follow it so i think many more nations and many more cultures will eventually be exposed and fall in love with the sport and and we'll see it continue to grow as we've seen over the past few years and the figure skating kuwait the quote that I read was one of their taglines was skating hard, dreaming big, and pushing limits. There you go. And just attending to be here, that's exactly what they're doing. Mm. With whatever stage they're at. With 26.54 was her personal best. It is a new season's best with a 28.17. That puts Sama currently into first place in the free program with a 42.45 total competition score. And as she takes over the lead just very early on in this event.